Hey guys, this is Pedro back with another interview covering BCT America Stage 2. For this occasion, I'm here accompanied by Trent once again of G2 Esports. We're coming off of a qualification to champions after beating 100 Thieves uh, in the playoffs. So, Trent, I mean, congrats first and foremost, making champions. I mean, talk, talking about that, what's the feeling like for you right now? Um, you want me to hold it? Okay. Um, feeling very ecstatic, you know. Uh, team has been playing really well so I'm very happy that you know we're in a good place right now as well and you know just making it there is just you know the dream for everybody so it feels really good and all the hard work has definitely paid off as you guys can see so yeah I'm just very happy that we're able to be in this situation. I mean coming into this match you know there's plenty of expectations for just for 100 teams to do well you know despite them coming into this as a lower seed compared to you guys I mean uh to do that, beating 100 Thieves in 2-0, in a 2-0 fashion, what, 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 were you, what were you feeling uh, once that match ended? And not only did you defeat 100 Thieves to bump, to bump them down to a lower record, but also you secured a spot to champions. Uh, it feels very good, especially since it's 100 Thieves. They talk a lot of shit, so it feels very good to put them in their place. And, uh, yeah, I mean... Our winning moment was my 1v1 against Bustio, so I was very, very happy, as you could probably see when we won the map. I was instantly got up and was just showing emotion, and I don't even really know what else to say. I don't have much else words for it. you got to walk me through that play against Bustio. You know, what were you feeling? What was the initial parts of that play like, the middle part, and especially you know, what was going on at the very end there? Walk me through that play. Um, so we were doing an A hit. And then they were trying to, kind of like flooding. So I was kind of just playing at the back because I'm always in the back anyway. So I was just trading my teammates, you know, making sure that all of our peaks were together. And then it got down into the 1v1. And I just tried to find him at the beginning. I didn't want to plant because I, I knew I had time. So I'm trying to find him because, you know, he's unknown. He's going to try and take his timing since I have no idea where he is. And then as soon as I found him, I just planted in a safe spot. And then, you know, you got to take a one at, at some point. So I walked to the right to get into spawn. And then I had my dart on refresh. So I was kind of just jiggling, you know, making sure he couldn't push me. And then as soon as I knew he was pushing me, I dart, I tuck. And then, you know, he's going to have to get nervous. He's going to have to break the dart. He's going to have to push me. So I just put him in a very tough spot and then, you know, hit the shot. I mean, for sure. I mean, just doing that, uh, completing a journey that it, many people looked at as just inconceivable, improbable. You know, heading into just the end of Ascension and it, when when it looked like you guys weren't even going to be in VCT Americas in the first place. I mean, I mean, just going from that to now gradually being the best team, one of the best teams in VCT Americas, how gratifying must it feel for you in particular and also the rest of like the other old guard core? Um, we were definitely very sad when we heard the news that guard wasn't making it in. So we kind of knew the route that we needed to take. And, you know, we were very optimistic and we just kept our heads down. You know, there's, you can't change the outcome, right? So you just got to keep believing in yourself and keep putting in the hard work. And, you know, after we made it through Ascension, it was just a repeat. You know, we're just in a different league. We're against better players. So we just got to practice even harder and, you know, keep going. I think we're the only Ascension team so far that's made it to champs. So it definitely feels very good, but we're definitely supposed to be here. You know, it's a designation that is well-deserved, well-earned after getting through a year like this. I've been able to talk to yourself and a lot, basically every other teammate of yours in this year. And it's always been kind of the same mantra, you know, we're building towards champs, we're building towards champs. You know, you've not seen the, the last of us. I mean, what do you think just kind of helped this team just get to this point, improve so much without stop? from the start of the year up until now? You know, what did kind of set the factor for you guys? Um, we recently have gotten a, like, I don't know her title fully, but she helps us with, like, our nutrition, our sleep. She's kind of just like a – her name's Allison. She kind of just helps with, like, everything about the team that's outside of the game. And so it, it's really helped us focus on, like, getting enough rest, getting enough – you know, not just always staring at the game and always being practicing. So because I think before this game, we had yesterday off. We didn't practice yesterday, but before that, we were practicing for like two weeks straight. So, you know, we 
we've found a very good, you know, system that has worked for us very well. And so we're able to really put our heads down in certain moments that we need to and get enough rest for us. And I feel like we just found a really good balance and everyone's finding their footing in the team. So it's, it's all just kind of falling into place. I mean, I, I asked, I'm going to ask a similar question. I asked this, I asked a similar question that I'm about to, that I'm about to ask you right now to Josh RT, you know, uh, a little bit before the time of this recording, just sort of how there's plenty of doubts around this team, you know, despite everything that you guys done for the good, you know, saying, oh, sure, I mean, G2 is doing well, but what about Sentinels? What about 100 Thieves? You know, what about um, Leviathan? You know, they, they've been playing well. What about EG? Because, you know, they might do the same story as last year, but still, like, I mean, to, to just kind of continue to, to disprove doubt uh, disprove the doubt around prove them wrong and just continue to just say you don't fuck you we're g2 we just continue to just do our shit and our shit's working you know how 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 much that kind of motivate you on top of just having to improve uh throughout this entire year we always uh have a joke that we were talking about uh during practice and it's always like how much do we have to do to get respect like we made it to Shanghai. Oh, it was a fluke. We get third. Oh, it was a fluke. We start doing well in stage two. Oh, what about these other teams? So it's never – and I kind of like it. It's never about us, but I kind of like being the underdog all the time. You know, it it, it just kind of fuels us even more. So it's a good feeling to win. It's a good feeling to prove all the doubters wrong. You know, everyone can keep hating on us. That's fine if it's a fluke. If you think that, that's fine. We know it's not. We know how hard we've been practicing. We know, like, the steps that we've been taking to really become a top-tier team. So – we're, we're very happy that we're able to be here and that we're able to prove you all wrong. As I said, you know, an improbable story for this team, not even going back into just the old days of the guard, part of the OG, I believe, the OG uh, uh, guard core. You can correct me if I'm wrong there. But still, you know, uh, I mean, what do you think just made this team, this core, yourself, um, Valen, Jonah P, just continue to be together? continue to play together, continue to improve together, and continue to just reach, continue to just grow and just reach your first champions? I think it's a lot on our coaching staff, Josh RT and Shaq. Um, they do a lot for us. That's behind the scenes work. They're always pushing us to be the best players that we can be. And, you know, we're also very hard on ourselves. So, we're always trying to make sure that we have a process and practice and we're not just goofing around and we're not just like, oh, we just won before this round. Like, that was a good round. No, like, you really got to dive into it and realize your mistakes. And I feel like our coaching staff has really helped us with that so we can kind of know, like, the good plays, the bad plays. You know, if there's a better play, what is that play? So I feel like it's just been a lot on our coaching staff, a lot on, the, on our higher-ups to really just get us in the zone and just make sure that, you know, we're doing everything right. Well, what would be G2 if I don't mention Leaf and, and IC? You know, IC, his story is just as amazing as you guys. You know, being a rookie, making Masters, and being getting in the champs in his first year. Leaf uh, being a great duelist over in C9, moving over to the Sentinel role, still kicking ass in G2, returning to his, I believe, second uh, champions, first one being in 2021. You know, what thing just made this team just work together so well? Well, me, Valen, and Jonah P have always had, like, very good chemistry. Uh, we kind of know each other. You know, we, we know how we're going to play. We know, like, even before our teammate makes a move or makes a call, we kind of know that it's going to happen. So we have very good chemistry there. And with uh, IC and Leaf, it was very easily – it was very easy to integrate them because, you know, they're on the Sentinel and the Duelist role, which are usually the easier roles to integrate. And with IC just being kind of a fresh slate, we were kind of able to just, like – write the story that we wanted to write and just make him the player that we knew we needed and he's been filling that role perfectly. So, you know, he, do, he does the entry, he does the, like, he calls for his util, he, you know, ops where he wants to op. He's been doing a, a really good job at his role and Leaf is just an insane aimer. So if you go to his site, you just expect to die, honestly. So he's really fit into that role with just his aim and, you know, our coaching staff telling him like, oh, this setup's really good. You can do this, you know, just all the options that he has and, you know, his aim just shines. So it's just feels like our, our roster is very complete right now.
All right, apologies for that quick uh, interruption. Battery ran out for the other camera, so I'm, I'm using the, the the phone camera for this time. So I want one more question to ask, uh, Trent. You know, um, just looking at how you kind of compare yourself from when you started out playing Valorant and then getting into just joining the the older the other guard crew and now going from that to this point. Do you kind of do you ever envision yourself at that old part? old point that you would be at this point you know making champions having had plenty of experience under your belt and just everything else surrounding that um i wouldn't say envision uh maybe a little bit but it was mainly just like a dream so you know i you could say i was looking forward to it you know looking working really hard to get to this point so i mean yeah i this has been a dream for me my team for everyone really just Making champions is the dream, and winning champions is like the most surreal feeling. Only like a couple teams have done that. Like on one hand, you can count it. So that's that's the next goal. So I know I'm very very happy that we were able to do this. I'm super tired. We've been working nonstop. So we'll see where it goes uh, tomorrow's match. But I'm very very excited that we were able to make soul. Even so, congratulations once again, Trent, for making it happen, qualifying for champions, and of course. Best of luck uh, tomorrow. Thank you.